Good evening, everyone. My name is David Sung. I'm the president of Nicola Wealth Management. And on behalf of our speakers this evening, John Nicola and Rob Adel, myself, and all of our advisors and our staff here at Nicola Wealth Management, I'd like to welcome everyone to our 2018 Strategic Market Outlook. Now, I'd like to, I'd like to begin our presentation this evening with a question. What exactly is wealth management? It's a term that's being used quite frequently these days. Firms of all sizes have been attaching it to their service offerings, from small, independent firms right through to some of the, the largest financial institutions on Bay Street. All appear to be offering some measure of wealth management. But what if I was to tell you there really is no standard accepted definition of what wealth management is, either in terms of the products or services being offered, nor in terms of the types of clients who are being served. So for some financial institutions, wealth management is simple brokerage, and others it is retail banking and lending, and for some it's straightforward portfolio management. At times, wealth management has included some alternatives, from yacht brokerage to art advisory and even wine storage. So truly, the different attributes of wealth management can mean different things to different people. But for us, wealth management certainly means far more than just investing money. When I think of the many different clients that we work with, from the successful professionals and business owners and entrepreneurs, all of them share uh, uh, many things in common, from, of course, having run some amazing professional practices and having built some amazing businesses. But what many of them share in common is a strategic philosophy. Start with a plan, execute on that plan strategically, but know when to pivot and when to adjust and make some changes. Their, their wealth is what they've created. They're the ones that have saved it initially. Their wealth is the result of their hard work that they've put in both in their offices, at homes, with their families, and all of the sacrifices that they've made in between in order to, to achieve that. But while our clients definitely have a lot in common, each of our clients is unique. And that is why our philosophy towards wealth management is one in which we're constantly in the pursuit of trying to find that right mix, that right blend, of not only the, the science, but the art of advising our clients on building and protecting that wealth so that they can leave lasting legacies for not only their families, but for their communities and the various philanthropic causes that they care about. It's, we're, we're certainly proud of, of the work that we do with our clients, but it's also why I believe it's been our planning process that has resulted in us becoming one of Canada's fastest growing investment management firms. But that is also why I think it's important that we continue to remind ourselves that we did not start out as an investment management firm. Indeed, our, our history and our roots is first that of being a financial planning firm, an estate planning firm, an advisory firm. And it's, um, it, it's I think, the, that type of approach that has um, helped us to both guide clients and, and help them go down the right path towards, towards planning. And, and I guess the analogy that I'd like to use is one of architect and builder. When any of you are looking to build a home and when you're looking to build anything that is a lasting structure, an architect first picks up a pencil before the builder swings the hammer. And likewise, our approach to family wealth management is one in which we, as financial advisors, we first pick up pencils to draft financial plans before, as portfolio managers, we pick or make any investment. When an architect and builder work together in an integrated fashion, they have to have a working philosophy. And as many of you here who are clients knows, our philosophy on investment management is one in which we have a platform of extensive diversification and defensive cash flow investing. Typical asset allocation is often defined as a portfolio that's invested 60% into the public equity markets and 40% into the public fixed income markets. But in our view, that is not true diversification, which is why methodically, piece by piece, over the past 25 years, we've worked to build a pension class, institutional grade investment platform that yes, invests in the public markets, but also goes well beyond stocks and bonds to invest in institutional commercial grade hard asset real estate, private equity, 
private debt, mortgages, farmland, and infrastructure assets. It's this type of broad diversification and focus that has helped our clients both thrive as well as to protect their wealth during periods of unforeseen volatility. And lastly, we don't believe that planning is a single one-time conversation at the beginning because true financial planning involves a series of ongoing conversations there to help our clients identify and deal with the various different factors and unknowns that all of them face at varying stages of their lives. So tonight's presentation, or should I say tonight's conversation, is going to focus on the road ahead as our speakers, John and Rob, look to identify for you various obstacles as well as opportunities that we believe are both important and absolutely worth paying attention to. So with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this evening's presentation, and I'd like to turn it over to our Chief Investment Officer at this time, Rob Adel. 